So this next demo is one that I'm really excited about because it's a function that I actually just discovered for the first time a few months ago called convert. We're going to talk about changing your measurement units using this convert function. So the formula acts exactly like it sounds. It allows you to change values from one unit of measurement into another. So you may have data that's in pounds and you need to convert into kilograms. Maybe you've got temperature readings in Celsius and you want Fahrenheit. You can even apply convert to date or time fields by converting minutes into seconds without having to multiply by 60 or add extra constants into your formulas. So we're going to talk through a few different demos, one of which is going to be average temperatures that are recorded in Fahrenheit. And what we'll do is simply use that convert function. You'll see a box pop up with all of your options. And what's important to note is that you won't see the full list of measurement units every time. That list is going to be dynamic and it's going to depend on your from unit. So in this case, the only options that I see, given that I've inputted Fahrenheit temperature units, are Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and those others, which I'm not familiar with. But they're temperature-specific options. So it's as simple as selecting the option you want, in this case, the C label for Celsius, and there you go, you've created a new converted calculated column. So pretty straightforward use cases here. Number one, making those quick conversions without needing to look up conversion rates or calculators. And second, converting date or time specific values uh, without having to add formula constants. So let's jump into our pro tips workbook and make some conversions. So from your table of contents, we're looking at our formula tip section here. Look for the measurement conversion demo, press link. And when you land on that sheet, you'll see two different tables of data got average monthly temperatures here which are recorded in terms of Fahrenheit in column B. We're going to use convert to turn those Fahrenheit values into Celsius and we also have some individuals here with height and weight metrics and we've got height in inches and weight in pounds just because the US likes to confuse people and not use the metric system. So we're going to turn those inches into centimeters, we're going to turn the pounds into kilograms. So let's get started. Temperature in Celsius, we're going to start with an equals convert. Open the parenthesis. The number that we want to convert lives right here in B3. And we're going to convert from Fahrenheit. So if you know the label, you can simply type an F in quotation marks. Or you can search through. To be honest, I'm not sure what order these are in. And I don't know a quick way to search. Uh, but here it is kind of in the middle, a little bit towards the bottom. Then you can click that option, either double click or tab to pull it into the formula. And then the last argument is what are you converting Fahrenheit into? And now at least it kind of dynamically shrinks down that list into only the temperature specific options. So Celsius is the one that I need. This time I'll tab it in, close the parenthesis and press OK. And there you have it. So 41.7 degrees Fahrenheit is about 5.39 degrees Celsius. And I did check these uh, with a conversion calculator just to make sure, but you can do the same if you'd like. And double click, and there you go. We've converted all of our Fahrenheit uh, temperatures into Celsius with the click of a button. Now let's move on to heights and weights. So we'll start with height. We're going to convert inches into centimeters. So equals convert. We're converting F3 from inches. Let's search a little bit for it. There it is, IN tab it in. And the unit that we want to convert those inches to, well, here are the options. We've got meters, miles, nautical miles, back into inches, feet, yards, angstroms. But you'll notice we don't see centimeters here. In fact, the closest option that we have is meters. So you might be tempted to say, all right, well, I'm out of luck. Let's drop meters in, close it off, and then multiply by 100 to turn those into centimeters which will give you the right answer, 83 inches is 210.82 centimeters. But here's the thing that I discovered, is that even if the option doesn't exist, in many cases, typing the abbreviation will work regardless. So I'm going to say, listen, I don't want meters, I want centimeters, which is universally noted as CM. I'm going to put that in quotes, close my formula, press enter, and there you go, we get the correct answer without having to introduce that constant that multiplication by 100 into our formula. So there you go, we'll apply it down, 
And now a very similar case we're going to deal with converting pounds to kilograms. Equals convert. The number that we're converting is cell H3. We're going from pounds. This is pounds mass, LBM. Double click. And we're converting it into kilograms, which doesn't live on this list, but we have grams. So just like before, one option could be to use grams and then divide by a thousand to turn it into kilograms. Or we can simply say, hey, the symbol for kilograms is kg. Close the parenthesis. There you go. We get the correct answer. 260 pounds is equal to just under 118 kilograms. So there you go. Couple demos for how you can use this super handy convert function to change your units of measurement.